ain't been up on the block in a minute. Uh, I've been missing out the walk with the minute. Uh, uh, I've been building up the blocks like a me. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, he got his glide. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, that boy on top. Uh, what, sip and walk. What up, business? John Shrubble, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness to change your minor settings, yes, I am black from playing a dirt bike game. Now, I'm pretty junk right now, but I'm gonna show you that this isn't rocking science for you to be able to create this. This is how to create thumbnails, I should say, in MX Bikes. So I'm gonna show you that if you have Adobe Shop, um, I do recommend it. I know it's like $19, you know, a month. But I do recommend it for sure. If you don't, there's other little small things that you can do in, in like other spots. If not, I also recommend getting, I guess, sponsored by someone that creates photos for you that has Adobe Photoshop and or paying for these. Um, they're pretty cheap. I know my dude Reflex Photography, AKA Keys, AKA Coop Dog. He actually does create all my, for the most part, uh, pictures and thumbnails. All I have to do is just edit a lot of it in Photoshop. So I'm gonna show you two ways of how to get that done. That way you can make your videos look a little bit more approachable. Um, they might not be the best, but hey, it's something I like to do and they, fit, and they look a little bit more photography. So thank you Reflect Photography for a, a leash allowing to sponsor this a little bit of the video. Um, oh yeah, I'll show you my way, right? So say, boom. I just want to do something like this, right? Pop off the edge. I'll go back to replay. I'll find a good spot. I think I did this last time. I literally just let it happen. Boom. I like something like right there. It's almost like captivating, right? Nothing too crazy, but it's like showing me in the air. It's showing a little bit of mountain. What I like to do is if you have max HUD, take it completely off, right? I'm going to show you both ways that I like to do it. But right here, this is something to where it's like it looks good. You can either capture from here or you can capture all of this in the background, right? Also, if you guys want to watch my reshade video, that would help a lot, a lot for showing like how it looks, right? So boom, I can do a screenshot. Oops, let me turn my right screenshot, right? Or I can come this way and do a screenshot this way. And then I can just play with it. Zoom in, zoom out. You know, I can get like, if I want to like pressure off this, I can come over here and do something like this. Just as long as you have a pretty good reshade, it helps out tremendously. So if you guys want to watch my video, I do have a video on that. But I have that, and also I'll show you um, the guy that actually makes my stuff, right? So if I go through these, right, he's basically what I did, what I've done, but and or he's just done it to his own liking, and I enjoy his his excuse me his style of pictures, right? So I'll just go through and show you that he's done basically what I've done. He's just put different poses in it and or put his own little Photoshop touches on it. So all I have to do is save the picture to my own desktop and then hover over on, on Photoshop and create my own text on it, make it a little bit brighter, right? That's what I like to do. That's me personally. So if you have someone that has makes really great pictures like this, I definitely recommend it. Also, if you guys want to hit up my boy Reflect Photography, he's made great, pic great pictures for me. He will give a little price for you. It's not that much. I will say he has pretty good prices and he gives you out almost 10, 10 pictures for like the price of like five, six dollars. I don't know exactly, but that's a good thing. If you keep coming back for him and you make a lot of videos, you might it might be lucrative and he might want to sponsor you if you literally keep showing him off. All right, first things first, you want to make sure you have a thumbnail um, and you want to create a new document, new whatever. That way you can always remember to find it in your recents. And you want to do width by 1920 by height 1080, right? Resolution, eh, it doesn't really matter. Maybe you could change it. I personally have it at 118.11 RGB color white. Um, you can copy all these settings if you'd like, but I have it at that. That is my, my default thumbnail, right? Now, I'll show you what I usually do for him. So I already have one of his presets downloaded on my stuff. Boom. You see how clear that is already? It's because he already has my reshade and his reshade put together what i like to do is go to adjustments when i place this in here and i like to actually put the first bright you see how it make it makes it brighter i click it twice and make it a little bit brighter and put some color pop in there that's right there that's technically me not having to do too much because i already have the sponsor right so if you find somebody that's able to do these videos for you or pictures for you 
great you're literally above the time i promise you a lot of you guys oh this is a cheat code this is this and that trust me when you have people that's able to do this for you already it saves you so much time for when you have to edit a video you have to edit a short you have to do this you don't have to worry about making a a thumbnail for other than putting maybe a little bit of text in it so with that being said i have this right now depending on what you've made for instance i'll say something about supercross right right supercross is coming up for arlington which will be today right i'll be like thought we forgot i don't know yeah something like that thought we forgot and then boom too easy right it's almost something captivating like thought we forgot what does he mean by that right and then i'll size it down and then instead of putting blue i'll like double click i'll go to back to properties and make that white right and then i'll hover over it boom thought we forgot let's go to blending options you want to click on blending option right i'm gonna go stroke boom i like putting the blending level this right here is huge stroke and boss you can copy these if you want you can always change them these are my preset settings for the stroke and embass i like stroke which was is this backside which is basically turning up and back and this right here is a good little spot for me thought we forgot boom it's kind of captivating it's like wait what do you mean by that right but not also if i'm gonna go live or this and that i like to put my little live stuff so it's also about saving stuff from like google and putting in your screenshots or whatever your little video capture whatever you like to do so i'll put a little live here maybe and i'll drop it do another blending and i'll do the exact same thing i don't really go too crazy with it because at the end of the day this is a automatic really good spot for me right he already has the back side blurred out and i'll show you that in the next little uh, tutorial to where it's like maybe you don't have a reflect maybe you don't have reflect photography maybe you don't want to spend for it and you want to do it yourself if you have adobe right so put a little this live i'll grab my own little easy mode and i'll make sure i drop this under blending options do the same thing stroke boom and i'll make sure i just line this up it's simple right simple things like this that could make your potential potentially pop now you can see he's a little bit on the darker side of, of, of an emote, right? So what I like to do is go to the top. I like to press this bot, little, little button at the bottom. I like to go to exposure. What happens is if I press exposure, it'll make him a little bit lighter and make the screen lighter. And then maybe gamma's too high, maybe it's too light. I like to put a little bit darker, boom. That's a thumbnail for me, right? That looks pretty professional. Thought we forgot, making a little nice little captiony, uh, you know, title for you. That's if you have a person that's willing to do your thumbnails for you at a good level, right? Too easy. I don't care whether you want to click on that or not. I think it looks pretty nice to my own liking. Let's try that one, I guess, right? So we grab something like this, right? Maybe that's too bright for the liking that I've already had, right? So maybe I want to cut down on the vibrance, right? Take it, take it back, right? That doesn't look too bad. Maybe this exposure is actually pretty what's killing it. Boom. So that is what's killing it. Now we go to adjustments, right? If we want to make it pop, you want it brighter is better. Brighter is always better, right? So now we go back up to bright. What's that look like? Eh, that looks good, right? Maybe we can go one more. That looks good. Let's go to a color pop. That looks a okay, right? Maybe we move this over. You guys already seen how to do this, right? But maybe you want to focus more on the writer and you don't want to focus on the background, right? So have that blur, right? So you want to control J right control j you control j your image you go into the top one you go over here to object uh selection tool the very first one you click on this usually it hovers over the top of all of it sometimes maybe you have to do this and drag it over and then wait for it to load when it loads kaboom it's basically got your whole image you're going to come over here and create a clipping mask or a layer mask right you're going to create a layer mask kapow too easy um with that being said you go back to the bottom side you go to uh filters go to filters you can either do blur and or blur gallery either way doesn't matter i go to blur i'll do gaussian blur and what happens with gaussian blur is you can see you can set the tone of how how blurred you want it and or go as low as you want right so maybe maybe this right here right that uh, maybe we'll go back up a little bit more you want more focused on the writer boom compel too easy my writer's focused doesn't really matter too much about this little uh, capped out that's not going to be naked to the eye right 
Now maybe this in the back could, right? So you want to go to the eraser, you know, erase tool. You want to make sure you click back on this. Boom. Okay. Just press okay. Erase. Automatically that puts it into the background. You're looking golden, right? You have your popped out image. You have my reshade that's making it look good. You have your little image right here. For instance, I'm going to go ahead and title this. You guys will see that this is the thumbnail, right? This is the thumbnail. So I'll put this straight a little bit. And then I'll put this MX Bikes. Or, yeah, MX Bikes thumbnails. Right? I'll put an MX Bikes thumbnails, right? And I'll put it sideways. F it. I'll do it sideways. And I'll put the title as like MX Bikes thumbnails for, dum for dummies, right? Not calling you guys dummies, but maybe you guys need that help. Maybe you guys want that help and you guys are uh, curious. I'll put it like that. And I'll go ahead and delete this live because I'm not live, right? But I'll put the easy mode and maybe make it a little bit bigger, right? I'll make it a little bit bigger, but maybe I have, maybe I'm going to put it on this side because that side doesn't really matter. I'm having a lot of space over here, unforgotten. But you know what I can do for that? Maybe you guys are trying to put your face in your guys' content, right? If you're just trying to put your face in your guys' content, I'll show you how to do that too. Trust me, I showed that in my last video, but I'll do it in this one as well. I already have a preset for it. Um, basically, just slide down. Let me find it real quick. It is as simple as dragging something like this over. Um, this is actually really cool. I'll put it again. Um, I think it's really awesome. I think it's really fun just for you guys to learn. Uh, MX Bikes thumbnails, right? You put something like this, and then you grab a picture, upload it. The best camera quality that you can ever ask for is from your own iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, boom, I definitely recommend it. Plug that in with a USB port, upload the files over here. I'll grab something like this, right? I've already used this before, but it's already on my desktop. So what I'll do is flip horizontal. I'll pull it down. This is something like really old, right? I'll place it right there, boom. So what happens is I'll press OK. You want to do the same thing you did earlier is control j control j go on the bottom layer of it create clipping mass what this is going to happen with creating clipping mass is basically going to hold that frame in spot when you go over to the top part it's basically what i did before making him pop out you want this to pop out right this is really cool you layer your own face and you do the same thing creating a layer mass you see how it literally just deleted the background for me outside of the layer to where it's like I'm popping out of the screen. That's what you can do. For any of you guys that want to really be uh, comfortable with putting your face on the screen, I definitely recommend this. Now, once again, if you want to blur out that background, maybe I don't want my deodorant, lotion, all that jazz in here. You click back on that, go filter, blur, or a blur, and then you go gosh and blur, right? Boom, it's going to go ahead and blur it out. I can even blur it out some more if I really wanted to. That way you're like, oh, what the heck is in the background? But you're more focused on my face, right? Boom, too easy. Now, say my face is too bright right here, right? I'll go ahead and up all this over up here on the top part, right? I'll up all that on the top part just because I don't want my face maybe popped out too light skin or bright, right? Now you can really focus on it, especially for when I click up here, go back to the exposure and maybe do something like this, right? Now that's looking popping, MX Bikes thumbnails, easy mode, you got my face in it simple stuff like this i hope you guys really do enjoy this um once again I, i'm not the best thumbnail guy but at the end of the day i feel like this definitely helps me out in the short run especially if you just want to make your mx bikes thing pop you can definitely use something like this so hopefully this video enjoy uh, you know really helped you out if it didn't hey let me know if it did hope you guys use it once again i am using the, uh, photoshop it is 19 dollars or so a month i know use other um you know I guess stuff to use but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it it's your boy abs kelso happy friday happy friday and i'll see you guys in the next one pop 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 pop